Herzlich Willkommen bei eines neues Video. And today we're going to discuss why SafeMoon is such a financial freedom generational wealth tool that everybody should buy. No, that's not what we're going to discuss. That's what we're going to discuss tonight in which I'll be sharing my view on Elon Gate, SafeMoon, Space Musk, everything that we have. Um, but as you can see today we are not including a camera yet. Uh, my eyes are getting better. Uh, so probably tonight we will be having it with the live stream at 19.30 Central European time. Uh, but for now I'm feeling very comfortable by not sharing my face. Uh, but yeah, what are we going to discuss today? We're going to discuss Ethereum as Ethereum is doing really fine. And the entire market is doing pretty much fine uh, except for SafeMoon. So, Bitcoin first. Bitcoin is still doing what I like to see it doing, as you can see on the chart. I mean, uh, people are still were shouting panic regarding the recent corrective move. However, what we are seeing is that we're just holding the critical support level in general. Um, had a slight test of this support zone previously, and we have discussed this on and on. As actually, on the live stream, we have discussed this. I'll get the right where are you four hour i need you uh we've discussed this on the uh on the live stream on monday in which we said okay i have to go to the one hour sorry in which we said okay we have to test this entire region of support before we can start continuing and that's essentially what we're seeing here so <clears throat> what we have is that we're just making lower highs and what we also have is that we don't really have a very substantial support zone uh, what we can rely on and when you don't have a real substantial support zone where you can rely on you're going to look for the most obvious one which is the entire region where we have bounced on already good part is that um ethereum and mostly other altcoins are not really caring about this drop down especially ethereum is just um Continuing its run and we're getting to that subject in a little bit, but what do we see here? We do see that we're dropping down even more on Bitcoin um, Given that we have this this recent low and this recent low I've stated that once we can't really break above 56 and 58 We most likely sweep this low for support. Well we swept it and took out the liquidity there. However, most likely we were going to be there again until we make a higher low so the scenario that we have here is that we're currently probably rejections rejecting somewhere in this region <clears throat> if we crack the area around 55k i'm assuming we're going to get to this zone if we don't i'm assuming that we're going to see at least a test of 53 and probably even a new lower low. If we get that new lower low and test this entire region, immediately bounce back and um, make a higher low, I think we have bottomed out and then the real alt summer can start. So, what are the critical levels to watch for Bitcoin? I guess around 55k. Also, the entire region that we have beneath us is that we're going to have some, some, some st substantial support to test in general. Everything still looks fine. Then we get to Ethereum and um, this one I've been discussing over and over again. It's about to go crazy. That's basically what I can say about this chart in which you can see that we've got those beautiful higher highs and higher lows kicking in. <coughs> and the critical area that we had to hold on to is the 03 Bitcoin level. Uh, we basically held on to that. I was assuming that we were going to have a slight corrective or sideways action here. But then this news came in. In which this is something that we will be seeing throughout the entire year. But also throughout the coming years in general. In which traditional finance wants to have a gateway towards exposure in crypto. And two months ago we had the first Bitcoin ETF in Canada. And we saw that there was a big demand for uh, this ETF in which there was a substantial amount of volume being traded on this one. And that's just an ETF in Canada. Now, we also have a, uh, an ETF in Ether in Canada in which it was approved 
throughout uh, yesterday, or at least the news came out yesterday, which is assuming that the inflow in interest towards Ethereum is going to be significant. And Ethereum also has those upgrades that are coming up, so I'm still very much interested in Ether as one of my biggest positions. If you want to know more about Ethereum and how I trade my portfolio, do not forget to check out the link that is in the description as I'm sharing everything that I do in the educational platform that I'm the CEO of. So right now we are getting ETFs for Ether. It's a matter of time until we get baskets where you can get the top 10 or whatever you want or segments of the cryptocurrency market, all gateways to get more liquidity into this market on a very um, healthy and organic way in growing this market. So this came out pushing the price up of ETH and now what we can see is that we have this entire construction of higher highs and higher lows and we also know that we are breaking the 100 day and 200 day MA, flipped it for support and we're trying to chase for new higher highs. Given this entire construction, and I think that we might be rejecting quite soon given the expansion that we have, and then we probably have a sideways corrective period for something like this still, uh, but that's just pure speculation. I think you, if you want to be in ETH, you should have been in it already. Right now, chasing for an entry is quite complex, but anything around 0 0.4 Bitcoin would be great. Um, if we break this entire uh, accumulation phase, I think we're going to skip this entire level and we might even go towards anything in those regions and I guess we're going to have a big impulse wave. So my title of the YouTube video is Ethereum to 5k and I think if we're going to have such a big expansion um, and in which Ethereum is going to make a new impulse wave like it has been doing in 2017 and you don't see all of them. Um, this breaker will most likely put any e Ethereum in anything of this region. So once it gets to there, a very simple way, as those are the levels that I'm watching, even a run of 90% from here if Bitcoin remains stable and we already hit, re hit Ethereum at 5k. So especially given the upgrades that are coming up, um, the ETF right now and everything fundamentally onto Ethereum, I think we're going to have a very big impulse wave and the good outcome of that is that once ethereum is going to accelerate most likely those dino coins are following suit but also everything that's built on ether will start to make a move and then you get what i've been shouting which is alt summer so if ether is going to make such a big move I'm quite sure that the smaller the cap will be, the heavier the move will be, and that most of them will start following suit. So the next 10, 20, 30, 40 Xs are going to happen and are bound. So what is the critical level to watch for ETH right now on the Bitcoin pair? Um, well, this entire region should hold on to support right now. If that happens to remain support for Ether, I'm expecting that we're going to have that expansion in the coming period, especially with everything everything lining up for Ethereum as a matter of fact. Then the UCT chart, very simple. With the critical level that we had to hold was the previous high, we held. Therefore, bearish divergence, not valid. Uh, therefore, also making higher lows, higher highs. So what's happening right now uh we might assume that we get such a relation as here in which we have some corrective moves yet um then we're looking at anything in this region that's basically correlating with a probable correction on the bitcoin pair right so um if this holds in this range i think we're going to have the expansion you still have to watch the bitcoin pair as i've been stating as that's giving you way more information in the uct pair if this breaks out you can start using Fibonacci extension tool to derive anything of information. And then the first real level is around 3.3K, second one around 4.6, probably 5K. So more on that tonight, but I think this is uh, already beneficial for you. Do not forget to subscribe, like this, uh, this video, and also comment if you want to see some special content. And I'll be back tonight with the live stream.